Good to see some new faces here today. Who'd like to start? Hi, <laughs> my name's Anna. Hi, Anna. <laughs> For me, it started a couple of years ago. I was working on a photo shoot for the Sunday Times and I needed to find something really kitsch and bright and colourful. And I knew Nana would never let me use it. It was just so perfect. You know when you find the perfect prop. Thank you, Anna. Now, would anyone else like to share? just don't appreciate the high you get when you find the perfect prop. It's an addiction. I mean, when I'm working on a feature, decorating a set, I get a fixation with telling the story through fabrics and textures and, and props. Nothing beats the thrill you get when you find that. You, that lamp, I had to have it. I can't believe they actually called the police. I... I have a dream. I, I suppose it's a fantasy. It's okay, Piers. It's good to share. No one here is going to judge you. I'd, I've been a theatre designer for over 30 years and I, I've had this dream for the whole of that time. There's a dirty old skip full of unwanted tat and she's in there. One perfect red Pantenverna chair. 71, original. And she's there waiting for me to discover her. And the, the, those sleek curves, they entice me, they draw me. I had a brush with a little once. You know, with a script, it's like an obsession. It can make you act strangely. My thing is desk, dressing. And graphics. But it can make me distracted at inappropriate situations. I love desk dressing. I only got caught once. And they didn't press charges. <laughs> Emma, do you feel ready to share? Yeah, um, hi, hello, um, I'm Emma. Emma. I'm a props buyer. Emma. We don't define ourselves by what we do, but by who we are. Who we are. Who we are. Who we are. Yes. The worst thing for me was when I realised how much my problem was affecting my children. It was, it was exactly what the director wanted. But it had to be that robot, his favourite. You try explaining to a, a crying seven-year-old. I love that toy. But it was either watching my own son crying or a grown television director. I guess I took the easy option. 